one of our key project areas in the agribusiness space in South Asia, with a key focus on India and Sri Lanka, is our Sustainable Fisheries Management Project, which is all about bringing Australian capability in both harvest and post-harvest practices to bring to bear to help in develop and build greater efficiency in both the Indian and Sri Lankan wild-caught fishery and also in agriculture. For example, just to, just to illustrate here on the map, when we look at, say, India, which is, of course has a very large seafood production, uh, employs something like about 50 million people right across about 9,000 kilometres of coastline, we find that there are areas where Australian capability can be brought to bear, both in terms of improvement in the catching processes, both in terms of the holding and storage, and certainly both in terms of the packaging and the marketing. Well, it's pretty obvious that, uh, that India and Sri Lanka within South Asia have a keen interest to address the food, secu food security areas. I think there are a number of areas of engagement. For example, if we talk about the rock lobster industry in India, uh, a, a large proportion of the catch is in fact processed and uh, sold into to the local market as well as neighbouring markets at low price points. There is an opportunity to increase the live uh, 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 percentage of that catch to be able to put greater value back into the industry and to provide a far greater economic benefit for everybody right along the fishing food processing chain. We've identified a very simple platform which we think provides a far uh, effective corridor for Australian companies that have capability both in terms of services and technical know-how to engage with the industry. And that model is premised on the acronym which we call PRETS. PRET stands for Policy Collaboration, Research Collaboration, Equipment Exchange, Technology Transfer, Services Capability and Skills Development. We think those pillars of PRETS are an effective way for the industry to understand where Australian capability can be brought to bear. I believe the Australian seafood industry can engage in a number of ways. Uh, obviously through the network that we have here in Austrade where we have a dedicated team of people working in the sustainable fisheries management process to connect them to uh, customers, to connect them to industry bodies, to start to work on projects where sustainable fisheries management can be harvested.